Well, it's the mid 80s and it's time to turn on the old TV to watch the funny and sarcastic puppet alien show, ALF. And thanks to NECA now, I can relive those fond childhood memories with this collectible ultimate action figure of ALF. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here is the ALF collectible action figure ready to unbox. So let's go ahead and do that. I've already gone ahead and pre-cut the tape that's securing it here, here at the bottom, as you can see. And I'll just go ahead and open up the flaps like so. And I'll pull out the figure. And as you can see, you got the ALF figure nicely formed on a clear clamshell, as well as tons of accessories. Got securing straps right here at the arms and at the feet here as well. Looks like he's got a nice little t-shirt pack right behind him too. So, and let's just see, I think he has some graphics card back here. Nope, nothing really. All right, give me one second to get this action figure ready to showcase to you. So let's go ahead and check out the articulation over the ALF action figure first. So let's start with the head. It's got a nice 360 spin. You can tilt side to side quite nicely. Tilt forward, tilt backwards really nicely. And overall, very smooth articulation right here. He does have mouth articulation, so you can close it and he can open it up that wide. Really nice. All right, let's check out the arms. Decent T-motion, as you can see, really nice. And they spin around pretty great. Let's check out the shoulders. Really nice articulation right there, very smooth. Let's check out the elbows. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice, very nice. They bend really well. The wrist spin around very nicely, as you can see. Let's see if they go inwards. Not too much. Not too much back. There seems to be some restriction with the fur lining on here, so it's very minor as you can tell. Not too bad. All right, let's put these hands up so we can check out the torso. Start with the upper torso. Spins around really nicely. And he does have some side to side tilting and some backwards, back and forth. Not too bad. Bottom, nothing right there. All right, let's check out the crunch. That's about as far as you can go. Now let's try backwards. Ooh, really nice. Great range of motion going backwards. All right, let's set them back up. All right, for the legs, let's check the splits. Ooh, that was smooth. Great range right there. Awesome. Kicking forward. That's about as far as he'll go right there. Some restrictions right there in the fur lining. Going backwards. A lot more going backwards, I think because the fur lining's a lot higher up. Really nice overall. All right, let's see if there's some upper thigh rotation. Great upper thigh rotation, as you can see. Really nice there on the legs. Let's check out the knee joints. As you can see, they bend quite well, not too bad. All right, let's put them back. We'll see if any rotation right down here. Yes, right there at the knees. This is great, that's awesome. For the feet, no real tilting down, no real tilting forward. They don't seem to have a spin, but they do rock ever so slightly as you can see. So, but overall, the articulation of this figure is not too bad with just some minor restrictions. And he does have the display holes right there at the bottom of his feet. All right, set him down. And now let's check out some of the accessories. So we will start on this side of the accessories and work our way over. He does come with a nice pair of shades. Really nice. He's got this great radio, this tuning radio. Excellent, and there's great details on it as well. Just be careful with this wire. You don't want to pull too hard, you don't want to break it. He does have a fun t-shirt with little buttons. And don't worry, you don't have to unbutton the shirt. It is Velcro, so that's nice. He's got a great picture of the one he loves the most, himself, really nice. And I like how they have that nice little stand. It doesn't move, so it is hard plastic, it is stationary. He's got a drink of Fusco. I guess that's a playoff of a popular brand. <laughs> oh, no Alf, no Melmac. That's his race. It's complete without having a cat ready to for a midnight snack. And it's on a nice little plate too. Great details on it, actually. If I remember correctly, I think this is a bag of slime balls that they like to eat. I don't know. <laughs> I thought this was broccoli at first, but I think they're slime balls from the original TV show. So. 
Ooh. It's got a nice bowl of popcorn. It's really nicely detailed. I can almost smell the butter coming off of it. And then there's also a slew of hands that he has. So a lot of pointy hands, open hands, great for gripping and just kind of using for all sorts of poses, as you can see. They're really nice. And you get a lot of great variety of them. So you're going to have a lot of fun with these poses coming up. I want to give a shout out to Open Vault Collectibles to thank them for sending me this action figure to review. I'll leave a link to them in the description below for you to check out all the collectibles that you have to offer. So let's go ahead and check out the size of this ALF action figure. Now this ultimate action figure of ALF is said to be 7 inches tall on the NECA website. But let's go ahead and put the ruler to him to see how tall he actually is. It looks like ALF here is closer to 6 inches tall, which makes sense because he's really a short alien on the TV show. Here's ALF next to other action figures from NECA to give you a sense of his scale. Should you decide to add him to your collection of NECA ultimate action figures. Now let's get up close and personal with this alien life form and check out the action figure details on ALF here as well as see what out of this world poses we can achieve with it. So here's ALF, the Melmachian sarcastic alien who's got it going on. Hopefully he will stay still long enough here and not try to run off to eat our family cat. One thing you can't deny is NECA truly captured the iconic face to one of the most popular puppet characters from the 80s. You have those oversized black eyes that gleam with light from this wacky alien. They even managed to capture the moles on both sides of his elongated, segmented nose. And I just can't get over seeing the exaggerated comb over hairstyle and the elongated ears. Seeing the whole owl face is truly hitting me with waves of childhood nostalgia. As we look at the body overall, it definitely has the rotund shape of this classic alien with all of his cuddly features. I am super impressed with the hair sculpt throughout this figure as it looks like you're looking at all the individual hair strands on him from top to bottom. And with the paint wash that they did, it really makes all the hair strands pop out even more. One thing I never noticed from the show is that Alf has pads on the inside of his hands, which NECA translates over to the action figure very nicely. I almost forgot that Alf has a tail too. Here you can see it with just a bit of curl. Though rarely seen on the live sitcom show for obvious reasons, Alf does have two large three-toed feet. I like the strands of hair growing slightly over his large toenails as it gives a sense of natural realism to the figure. NECA even added foot pads to the bottom of his feet, a nice touch to an area you probably won't see much of. I can tell that all the artists involved in creating Alf here truly have a fondness and love for this character by the sculpt, articulation, and the amazing paint job that they put into this. Now for those who do not know who Alf is, I will read the description from the back of the packaging. Alf, which stands for Alien Lifeform, was an evening television live action sitcom show in the 80s. Alf, a puppet character, crash lands through the roof of the Tanner family garage because he followed an amateur ham radio signal to Earth. The Tanner family eventually decides to let Alf stay with them in order to protect him from the alien task force hunting him. Thus ensues the hilarity of the show with an alien from the planet Melmac who is not accustomed to Earth's culture and way of life. Now the show did have a level of success airing from 1986 up to 1990 and even spawning a Saturday morning cartoon, comic books, toys, and heck, even an Alf movie in 1996 that I never knew existed until just now. There's a hilarious line from the movie that I find quite poetic for this action figure, where there's a discussion on going public with Alf, where Alf responds saying, let's not forget about the merchandising possibilities. Then Captain Rick Mullins says, do you really want to see Alf dolls in all the toy stores? With Alf's quick witted humor, he comes back saying, as long as they're plush, I don't render well in vinyl. Well Alf, I have to disagree with you, as you make an awesome vinyl action figure right here. Let's go ahead and check out the packaging highlights over this ALF Ultimate Action Figure. The front of the packaging has a framed image of ALF saying one of his classic one-liners from the TV show. You also get the ALF TV logo above him. The right side has a full figure shot of ALF wearing the shades accessories he comes with. Very nice. The back side has other nerd amazing action figure poses of the ALF character which reminds me of the TV show. Seriously, can we bring this show back? Speaking of reboots, the left side of the packaging has ALF asking that same question. I guess great minds think alike. Lastly, the front opens up revealing ALF taking a much needed break watching some TV and snacking on popcorn. Transitioning over to the other side, you get a full view of the ALF action figure, all the accessories he comes with, as well as the additional alternate hands. Now on to my pros and cons opinions over this ALF ultimate action figure from NECA. The pros. Sculpt and paint. It is fantastic hands down. NECA nailed Alf's silhouette, facial expression, and more with this sculpt. 
The paint job to his face and body with the washes and gradations really helped bring this alien to life. Tons of accessories. I am surprised with the amount of accessories Alf comes with and the level of details in all of them. NECA even gives you the shirt he wore in the cartoon series. I have to say, I have never seen a more beautiful ball of popcorn or cat sandwich accessory in my life. Articulation. Though there are some limited range of motions and minor restrictions in areas, the articulation is well done and pretty smooth for Alf here. I mean, heck, I wasn't expecting to put him in battle poses. The cons. Stability. My only issue with this figure is that it can be a bit tricky to keep him upright in a pose. I think that the foot pads might be the issue causing the action figure to fall over, but using a display stand should help fix that problem. Talk about a superb piece of childhood nostalgia here that NECA did. Just looking at this Alf action figure really brings back those childhood memories of me watching this sitcom. Currently, I have been seeing this Alf action figure everywhere, both at stores and online as of the date of this episode, and it generally goes around for about $35, which is normal for a majority of NECA action figures. Heck, you can even visit my good friends over at Open Vault Collectibles to get one still if you like. Well, I hope you had some fun with me over this Alf action figure review, and if so, give that like button a smash. And also, feel free to share your favorite Alf memory in the comments below. So, you ready to check out more collectible NECA action figures like these? Or maybe these collectibles are more your style. Well, thanks for joining me here at Nerd Amazing, and as always, be passionate in what you do, share your passion with others, and be kind to one another, as this world can always use more goodness in it. This is Adam with Nerd Amazing, and I'll see you next time.